Hello my lovely people, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldine and in today's yummy episode, I don't need to like mention it, we're making this goodness here, we're making some beef shrimp stir fry. I wanted to make this recipe with us the other day live but uh, due to technical errors, it didn't come to pass. So here I've got some beef. I don't like it very long so I've cut it into sizable pieces and I have frozen shrimps there. I have some seasoning cube, seasoning cube, yeah, I've crushed it ahead of time because it's usually hard and I took only a little bit according to the quantity of beef I have here, okay? And then I sprinkled some dry spices on the beef and the shrimp as well and then I turned a little bit of about a teaspoon of cooking oil into the beef, stirred it together and set aside to marinate. I did the same for the shrimp and then here is the vegetable I would be using for the stir fry. Guys, this stir fry consists of leafy vegetables, okay? I have kale, I have radish, I have uh, the regular cabbage, all crunchy. I have the purple one, crunch, and I have finally uh, shredded carrots, okay? You can make this yourself but I bought it in a pack, okay? So this is what they are looking like. So, and uh, this is the pack it came in. If you live in Norway, you can easily find it in the grocery store shops. But this is what they consist of. So you can easily buy them in holes and they're cut by yourself. Yeah, kale, cabbage, the two types, radish and carrots. And this gives, gives you a whole lot of goodness, okay? You get your vitamins C and A, you get enough fiber, folate and calcium. Let's get to the other ingredients. So for the spices, I'm going to be infusing some fresh ginger, that's about a thumb size, and uh, two chili, trust me guys, that chili is white hot, so you do as much as you can tolerate. Then as for the uh, spring onions, I divided it into two, the leafy parts I'm going to be uh, blending, but this strong part, I'm going to use it like for the actual stir fry, I'm going to saute it first. So here they are separated and then roughly blended this is the outcome okay so in here i'm going to be measuring i'll be using oat powder but you can use potato flour you can use any flour of your choice as thickener okay so i used about a teaspoon and these are the sauces i'll be using the worcester sauce is a replacement for soy sauce for me it tastes a little bit like wine and then i have then i have the oyster sauce as well so in this bowl i'm going to mix it this is going to make your the juice in your sauce right so i took about two big uh, spoons of the um the oyster sauce and then three of the worcester sauce yeah the more of this sauce you have the more sauce you will have in your stir fry okay i will tell you how my we turn out and why then i mixed the uh the oat powder as well for thickening these are the spices i'll be using paprika salt and ducro curry so in this warm pan i went into turning about three tablespoons of the cooking oil you can use any oil of your choice except palm oil then I sauteed the, uh, the strong part of the spring onions first until they got the edges a little brown. Then I turned in the beef and uh, stirred it in until it turned brown as well. Cool down, it's not ready, okay? Hold on. So I turned in about half a teaspoon of curry powder. Oh, imagine the aroma in this kitchen right now. Yeah, stir that in. And then I added about half a teaspoon as well of smoked paprika powder. Stir that in as well. I told us this beef is not ready. It will take a little bit more time, about another one to two minutes after it has turned brown to get this uh, a more golden kind of brown on it. So now it's ready and I added the shrimps. I'm adding my shrimps this late because they are already cooked and frozen, okay? and as you stir the shrimp in they will release the, the water into the sauce as well that is exactly why i'm using the frozen one okay i turned in the roughly blended peppers and onions at this point and then our mix of sauces oh my goodness look at that sauce you can comfortably eat your yam with this at this point but no we're making stir fry <laughs> Oh my goodness. So guys, taste and uh, adjust your spices, okay? And it will be time to add 
our goodness of vegetables so i'm going to be doing this bit by bit if uh, you want this very saucy this amount i added now is actually enough but for me right now i'm eating this as a meal like i would want it to be like a meal for me so i'm going to be adding a lot more vegetables okay so at this point i've added all the vegetables i needed at this point i added the thickening uh, flour you know the mixture of my oat powder just to give it a lot more sauce and then the sauce was ready <laughs> oh my god guys that is it i've paid my dues yeah i promise to share this recipe with us and here i've done that please hit the like button and share with your friends Finally, you can enjoy this with rice you can just have this with like even brown rice with white rice with on the side of your jollof rice whatever that tickles your fancy okay <laughs> yeah guys meanwhile this is what the winter is like enjoy the view and i'll see you in my next video bye bye